what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Xena Blade Chronicles X. Okay, now. Let me come up. Is it my turn? No. What? Alright. Hey. Okay. Uh, Run and jump and you get moon and you get moon gravity. There you are. Are you surprised you found something that looked like fun? I heard you faced a lot of oh, I should talk like this. I heard you faced a lot of things. Indigens. <laughs> Indigens out there. It's like, it's like you it's like you rolled out of bed and went to a battlefield. Look, I'm not a I'm no specialist. But if I were you, I'd worry that um, I'd worry that I'd push my body too far. You should head over to the administrative district, district, some more for a medical checkup, or at least some rest, Abby. Well, I need glasses. I don't know what you intended to do now. Um, to do now that you're here. But it, I can't wait. It, it, it. But it can't wait until you take care of yourself. No, I don't want to talk to you. All right. Jump off, boy. All right. So I guess we're going to go this way. Wait, no, not that way. This way. Cutscene. We did not download the data packs. So we we'll do that later. Yeah, at a later district. I get to grind though. Wait, why is she on her heels on? It's in battle. She's always had those heels on. Really? This entire game. Wait, 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 wait. Ooh, a Gundam! Oh no, it's a malfunctioning Gundam. It's a test dummy. It's a broken. Who, sh a gun who shot down that Gundam? And then it gets shot down. I'm pretty sure it just malfunctioned. It's a malfunction. Hunter does not know how to get some cut. Hey! There's no talking, get it? We can talk if there's no talking to the Alright. That's just, Ooh! That's, that hurt. His mom was in there. Power Rangers RPM! Yes, that's his yeah. girlfriend, bro. That is his true girlfriend. We stand together. That's his girlfriend right there. Uh huh. How much you want to bet, Hunter? Uh -huh. I'm right. Life's like this. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hunter, stop. Bro. Damn it! You just broke the Gundam. Really? I'm the sexiest of all Power Rangers. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure that's what he's thinking in his head. I am the awesomest of all Rangers. Hmm. I want to wear a suit like that. Look, I know what exhaust smells like, and it was exhaust in the cockpit. Just check the ductwork, would ya? Oh, I'm checking. I just seriously doubt it. Hey, what look, are at clippers? look at that. The intake that exhaust up. bypass is reversed. Oh man, it's a good thing I caught that. You caught that? You're the one who cleared me to fly. Everything okay? It's not like you to fluff a flight check, Lynn. Good thing you had a rugged pilot like Doug at the controls. Oh, hey, Elma. How'd it go out there? And would this be one of the you-know-whos? No, no, no. Let's not let the last episode be I'm Lynn Lee, mechanic and top all-around fix-it gal for Blake. It's going to be like an hour and a half. Wait, wait, wait. Find out how... Oh, look man. worried, look worried, because I don't want her to be all like, what, what you to mean? I, I don't want her to be all sassy. I don't want her to be like, Hunter, no, you do. Huh? Uh, yeah, well that, uh, doesn't usually happen. We know it doesn't, Lynn. Look, I know what you're thinking. But believe me, young as she may look, and yes, she is young, she's actually one of our top talents. Most of the time, that is. Most of the time. Anyway, you guys heading back to the barracks? 
Yeah. Sure. Why do you ask? As long as you're here, why don't I take you on the transport? It's a great way to see the city. I'll give you the grand tour. That sounds like a great idea. We're cheating on her. All right, Both Doug, I think that'll be all for today. We are you not can clean up either. here and dock the scale. What? Don't mind the exhaust. I'll take care of it tomorrow. Don't mind it? Wait, why am I cleaning up your mess in the first place? Lynn! Lynn! Reminds me of Knuckles. Uh... You can't want to say it's Knuckles. Yeah, it sounded like Knuckles. Oh, we got another active member. Wait, 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 wait. Yep, put her into the current party. Huh? Put her into the current party. Okay. A, A, A. Then go under A again. And A, no, no. Good. Oh, yeah. I, I keep I keep on thinking that the uh She'll load in in just a second. No, I, I keep on forgetting we're all about the uh, Oh wait, 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 there's an exclamation point. Go to that exponential point. That's what I oh she right. has a shield. Uh, no, I mean I keep on forgetting that the uh right. that you need the D pad in order to right. I know what yeah. it's doing. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm stuck. Oh, no. Once again, once again, jump. Good boy, you're gonna die. Jump. Jump. Jump on the thing, then jump on the thing. Right, don't, what do you think I'm doing? Jump. Jump. Yeah. Alright. Jump. 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 I'm there. Oh, right, no, I'm not. Probably. The loading times are not really that great. I would say about 30 seconds, but hey, I'm not going to Just me you and the good lord. way in the last few weeks. There's still so much to be done. One day at a time. Speaking of which, we don't really have time for a full pleasure cruise here. Why don't you give us the express tour? Just the highlights. Okay, you got it. <clears throat> New LA is divided into four districts. We departed from the industrial district where Doug and I were conducting the flight test. It has food production, scale development, you know, industries and stuff. It's also where the West Gate is located, remember? Expect to pass through there fairly often. The only other gate out of the city is in the administrative district, but I'm skipping ahead. <clears throat> Next is the commercial district. Restaurants. Cafes, clothing, groceries, you name it. It's a veritable shopping paradise. The CD Ooh. is the closest thing to a downtown we've got. It can actually get pretty crowded sometimes. Well, by NLA standards anyway. Day or the best Ooh. and only bargains Funny. on the planet. Ha ha ha. To your right, face the residential Funny. district. Housing, uh -huh. housing, and more housing. If you're ever looking for quiet time alone, or want to relax and unwind with a good book, that's the spot. Hey, 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 we're learning right. the lay of the land. The park is my favorite place to just zone out and chill. And last but not least, our destination, the um, administrative district. The third center of the heart, Venom. Note the distinct tour level structure. 
the upper level holds our administrative tower, home to Blade HQ and the government. Not to mention Armory Alley, as well as the barracks where we live. The lower level there is a hangar complex for scale maintenance and repairs. That's Johnny also. And this concludes our tour. We will be landing shortly. Thanks, Lynn. He's okay now. Not a lot of people are. We'll save the rest of orientation for once we're back at the barracks. Cutscene, if you want, it wasn't really all that great to me, but hey. Enjoy your stay in the administrative district, and thank you for flying Lindley Airlines. <laughs> right. Let's get you over to the barracks. Mm. Then I should file my report. They'll be eager to hear the details on how I found you, I'm sure. Well then, we better not keep them waiting. The barracks are pretty close, actually. They're set up just behind the giant blade tower here. Zero blade, huh? That road there wraps around the left side and leads right to it. We'll pass through Armory Alley, but let's not get sidetracked, okay? We can check it out later. getting you registered. Feel free to come and go as you please. Ask about registration. Wait, 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 what was that one? Look away, just frown and say nothing. Uh, where, Hunter, what did you just get? Um, the gamepad's about to die, so you oh. know. Alright. Getting something so it can stay alive. Show interest. I think I can answer that one. Bro, what's the point of Joker voice if he doesn't even talk? Oh, So. He looks like Vandal Savage. Who? Oh? Vandal Savage. Secretary Nagi. DC? What? Yeah, Mr. watch the Flash. I don't Joker like is always I don't awesome. like DC. <laughs> what can I say? Pat I like is my Marvel middle name. better. Mm. I ran into Doug Barrett on Speaking the Speaking of Marvel, we're gonna be doing he didn't Lego, seem quite Lego so Avengers. So. Anything about yeah, yeah, yeah. I should know. That comes out like in no, January. January Nothing to worry about. We'll get paid by. You're sure, it stays there. Hopefully. Oh no, the work, camera's work, about to fall work. over. You no. found another one. Excellent work. Just doing my job, Mr. Secretary. Oh, it's Elma. Now, oh, it's as for Elma. officially registering our new citizen here. Why don't we talk inside? There's a lot of ground to cover. It could take some time. See, this need. Ah, yes. These cutscenes need music. 
You must be weary from the stasis and your no, journey back to us. Please. What if they're like super long, just exposition? I'll put on oh, some okay. tea. Bro, I have a feeling. Like I hear that. like this next. I hear that this next one is like super long and super exposition heavy. But I might take a nap then. I'll just be like, like, like this is supposed to be like five to ten minutes long. Bro, the Wii is actually working, like working hard. Well, what do you think? Hey, is this game only for the Wii U? Yes, it is only for the Wii U, just like um, Xenoblade Chronicles regular. But Xenoblade Chronicles regular was for the just Nintendo stuff, because now it's on the new 3DS. Which I want for Christmas. Oh, well, we could just buy it. Okay, since this is going to be so long and half of this stuff we already know, let's talk. Well, Allow me to formally introduce myself. How you like the games so My name is Kentaro okay. Nagi. You Hi, may remember Kentaro. me as Captain of the White Whale, but now I serve and as Secretary like of Quasimodo. Defense here for New LA. The provisional government has charged me what? with keeping the peace. Quasimodo. So all military and police matters fall under my jurisdiction. He's also my superior officer. Come and on, baby, be an daddy. excellent person to talk to when you're ready to start okay, looking for yeah. work. What about a job right here with Blade? He seems capable. Let's give it a little more time. At least until he knows enough to be able to make an informed decision. He seems to be suffering from some form of memory loss. Memory loss? From the stasis? He could barely remember his name. And nothing at all about what happened to Earth or the White Whale. I see. Though, come to think of it. The entire lot of us have only been on this planet for, what, two months? It shouldn't take very long to get caught up. My thoughts exactly. Well, how did it take two months for them to build all this stuff? Well then, now you have to remember. where should we begin? It was already, it was pre I'm talking about the road, hold up. New Los Angeles wait, wait, was already Look, look. Okay. I know, ask. but you have to remember. Um, hold up, hold up, wait, let's, in wait, ask. Ask, for, okay, so, ask how we ended up on Mira. No. Because I already know that. Ask him. Ask for more information about Blade. Maybe. Ask about registration. No. I actually, I think I might want to join Blade. Yeah, Blade. Ask about Blade. Ask about Blade and then question, and then ask about registration. Sounds good? Yep. So they let us choose both. Blade is an acronym. Builders of a legacy after the destruction of Earth. Quite fitting, I think. Whoa. It's a relatively new organization. Up there in space, we had plenty of provisions and a crew trained to handle the limited amount of situations we might encounter in our travels. <sighs> but of course, all that changed after we lost most of our ship mm -hmm. and came crashing down uh, here on uh, uh. Mira. We needed food, water, search and rescue teams, surveyors, police. The list goes on and on. It was too much for the provisional government to manage on its own. So Blade was born. The idea was to have one central organization with different disciplines to fill these various roles. Its core was pulled from the coalition military, so it's mostly former soldiers. But fighting isn't our most important duty. Right now we have a single top priority that supersedes all others. Make pancakes. The search for and recovery of the life hole. Dun, dun, dun. Ba, ba, ba. Take a look at this. Ooh, pretty. The white whale was designed to carry an exceedingly large number of passengers, all of them held in stasis. Ew. All housed in a structure right here. called the life hold. I hit right here on the side of my left. This is a complete schematic of that facility. Only essential personnel were conscious and active for the journey from Earth. The flight crew, maintenance engineers. And of course, some military so we could defend ourselves if necessary. But the vast majority were in the life hold. Are in the life hold. With any luck, they're all still there, in stasis, waiting to be rescued. But, there's a problem. We now know the life hold broke apart along with the rest of the ship when we came down on Mira. What we don't know is exactly where all the pieces landed. Not very comforting, I know. 
Blade's top priority now is locating the missing units. That's how we, so that's, you know. Wait, we should do how we ended up on Mirror. They already know how, remember? How? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the beginning cuts in. All right. From part one. Unless this is still part one in which we edited it. It is part one. one. Wait, we're still in part one? It was the prologue, then part one. Okay, so pr prologue was part one. No, Start prologue was not part one. It was just a prologue. Yeah, okay. So this is part, part one. Part one is the beginning. No, okay. Part one was the beginning of the prologue. Part two was the middle slash end of the prologue. Parts three and four, which we are doing right now, All is right. chapter one. I have a question. Question. Ah, uh, yes. All citizens of NLA are required to register their name, age, and occupation. Well, he we also ask you report any personal assets and take a short survey regarding your current state of health. All purely as a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I don't like As the it. caretakers of humanity's uh, survival, like nice we guy. all have certain responsibilities. We just need to learn about him more. And hey, it's not all bad. Registering gets you access to all kinds of public services. Oh, we gotta ask all four? That's why I wanted the first one. It was three. <laughs> it started at the end, two years ago. The end like of Earth. Earth. The casualty of a battle between two hyper-advanced alien civilizations. Bruh, I didn't just say no flashbacks. Their technology and weapons were beyond our comprehension. We were like okay. infants, naked, powerless. The it Earth was reduced it, to ash. No. It's too long. And blown away. <laughs> I still music. wonder if I hadn't been there. Maybe all of this could have somehow been avoided. No one can know that, Elma. Mm -hmm. What we do know is without you, there'd have been no Project Exodus and no escape for any of us. Did it go perfectly? No. But we are here and we are alive. We survived. <laughs> so yes, Project Exodus. Once we learned the Earth might be threatened, we needed a plan to preserve all her various life forms. That plan was the Earth Life Colonization Project, otherwise known as Project Exodus. Those of us who escaped on the White Whale spent over two years wandering in space. Two hard years. But we clung to our mission, find a habitable planet, and settle there. We had no idea how long it would take. Or that the decision would eventually be made for us. The Xenoforms found us again, and, well, it wasn't a happy reunion. Earth wasn't enough. They wanted humanity destroyed. For better and for worse, we were close to planet Mira when we lost control of the White Whale. Inertia and gravity took it from there. The ship had taken way too much damage to survive entering the atmosphere intact. We had no choice. We channeled all the power we had left to soft land the habitat. Once the dust cleared, we set to work transforming it into its current state. Searching for survivors, establishing blade, Installing the provisional government. Basically, making it a sustainable city. In any case, I'm sure this is all a lot to digest. You'll be wanting some time. Ms. Coon, even I'm tired of hearing myself speak. Why don't you take our guest out for some air? Perhaps a tour of the administrative district. Yes, sir. Come on, we'll keep this briefing brief. <laughs> We completed our first mission. Or okay, summary. So I'll read the summary. Uh, Take a guided tour of the Blade Administration District, Administrative District, with Len, Alma, 
and with Lynn and Elma and learn more about life as a member of Blade. I can't really see. I need glasses, so. And I want to check something. All I said, your cutscene better be over. Save. What we got save? Oh. Save. Well, we've been playing this for two hours. It hasn't been two hours, though. Well, it kind of has, but. We only re we really only started at like nine. Oh, wait, we haven't waited for two hours, huh? Ooh, let's see. Um... What? Our character is going to be starting. We have Gwen, who um, he's a boy. Yeah, he, he likes he he um he has connections with Elma. All right, um, now let's see the girl. The, uh, okay, so he knows. Okay, so he, Gwen knows Elma, me, and um Ileana. Um, well, Irina. Let's he does Gwen. not know Lynn or Doug. Doug. Okay, let's see Lynn. Lynn does is... she have any interest in us? Why does nobody like us? Because we haven't done like our own affinity things yet. So Doug does not know who Doug does not know who Gwen or Irina or La or Lorena are, but he does know who Lynn and El Elma are. And Elma knows who this guy is, who also knows who Lynn is. Maurice. Well, we have not met Maurice yet, and we have this girl, this random NPC named Lucy. Well, let's see our player, player infinity. Player infinity. Alright, go to one. Wait, I'll just to Alright, so... Oh, yeah, like, oh, we get to see how they feel towards each other. Okay, so she's a team member, team leader, alright, um, brilliant mechanic, Mr. Nari, um, commanding officer, support, okay, so this is how they feel towards each other, so, um, Gwen towards Elma, Gwen sees Elma as, um, a colonel, and Elma sees Gwen as an ex oh, so that's cool, just to see how people think about everyone else. Well, when did they say something mean? Um, well, then we're just gonna have to deal with the fact that they say something mean. Why is it the ladies have more health than we do? Oh, <laughs> because they are, because they've been alive, because they've been out of space as longer, so, you know, they have, you know. But still. Ooh, I get to walk around this fancy place and not get kicked out, yay. Follow the arrow, remember? Check. Oh. Oh wait, I can sleep there and then wait till it's like something in the morning. Um, but actually, I want to take a tour right now. So this way. Yeah. Get me out of the administrative district. I want to go to my home. I don't think we should do a grinding video. I know. Which is why I said I'm just gonna grind. Yeah, I was just saying I don't think we should do one. Yeah, cause like I've seen people do grinding videos. It's not fun. Yeah, like, unless they have, like, a whole bunch to talk about at the same time, which, you know. Which we don't. Yeah, I mean. We could talk about the new cutscene. You know, it's not every day we're authorized to let a civilian tour the administrative district. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nagi must really, really want him to join Blade. The AD is a bit different from the other districts. It's got everything a blade would need, all in one place, without any extra fluff. Get a load of that skill. Even the way that they walk is so cool. Oh yeah, work it baby. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna geek out. Yeah. Now this guy gets it. Aren't they just the coolest? Just everything about them. The lasers, the force fields, the bipedal and vehicular transformations. I forgot they could turn the more that tree where you're inside one and is just hmm. transforming over and over and over. Transformers? It's mixed between Gundam and Transformers. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Oh. Actually, I, uh, I don't normally show this to people, but 
I've been working on some Skell fan fiction. What? Hold on, I'll just pull it up here one sec. Lynn. Oh, uh, right. Sorry. Originally, scales were developed as a defensive measure to counter potential alien threats. It wasn't enough to save Earth, though. We were outnumbered and outgunned. Still, just look around you. New L.A. has gone from basically nothing to this in just two short months. Yeah, you could never question. have come so far, hmm? so that's fast, without scale technology. What, what are your questions? Not in, in New L.A. I'd love that, to get you into one you to know, see for yourself, big, but so it's not fast. that simple. Well, yeah, duh. For one thing, only blades are allowed to pilot scales. And even then, you need a license. I want to get a blade. I mean, These I aren't toys we're talking license. about. They're complex machines with powerful weapons. And they're a precious resource. We only have so many of them to go around. So yes, as you might imagine, the certification process is a fairly rigorous one. Do I have to be like level I'm 20? I'm sure you're right? thinking, where do I sign up for the test? But it's not that simple. They choose you, not the other way around. You can't just walk in the front door and volunteer. There is some criteria. The details are largely hidden, but basically HQ only allows the cream of the crop to take the test. Oh, Wades who go fair. above and beyond in their duties huh. and for the people of the world. Me and my anime hair have feel a bit So what stuff. do you say? If you become a blade she, and work hard, I'm sure it'll only be a matter of time before they tap you on the shoulder. Hey, hey, hey. Speaking she of work, awesome. that reminds me. Oh, we're about to end this. Why don't we so. check out the mission control board first? Why? That's where we take on our assignments. Good call. Let's head out. Right, let's keep this one going a little longer. Fine. Either that or we just stop it because I don't really get to play around. So. Alright, anyway. Goodbye, gamers. This is gonna be all for today. That's gonna be all for today. Look at me and my awesome sword. And my two chip behind me. Hey, they are people. He's a player. Say goodbye to BBG, Elma, and Lynn. We'll see you next time on Xenoblade Chronicles X. God bless and happy gaming. Goodbye!